By the time she was 15 years old, she was used to the men in her life treating her like she was a hoe. And she never really had a place she can call home, and her father was always on the go, so live fast and reckless was all she know well. That's all she was taught. <coughs> so for her to feel wanted, she began performing sexual acts that you can never imagine, walking up and down strips as if it were a pageant, lost, trying to find money to support her newfound habit without discretion, because if you got the dollars, anything on her body, you can have it, soon to be pregnant with a bastard to give birth to her misery. Sadly, none of this being her fault, because she was surrounded by dudes saying, as long as you can keep it wet, you can always be bought. So she was just following a pattern of selling sex to get money, treating it like it was a sport. But what she didn't realize is her body was the game, and it's a damn shame, because every woman she ever knew in her life did the same thing. So in her mind, she didn't feel the need for her to ever change. And it's crazy, because she was such a beautiful girl, but from her past, her insides were trash to the point where she couldn't stand to face herself. So every time she took a picture, she led with her ass. The product of being educated by people with no class. And by that being instilled in her, she felt that's all she was worth thinking. At least if I'm bent over, I can show her my best quality first. And besides, she felt money was the only respect she needed, so she kept her pride in her purse. But if you really look behind her eyes, you can see the hurt because the tears came at night from the pain and having so much sex. It's almost like she was on her her second life and she may only be 15 but she the reason a lot of men was on her second wife mm -hmm. and I can just imagine the permanent scars on her soul from her misfortune mm -hmm. and the love being slowly stripped from her heart from the countless abortions painful vomiting from the cum she swallows in large portions living a life with no order to you this just may be a poem but in reality this is somebody's daughter with no to turn feeling like they have no reason to live in a way I feel responsible you should too because this could be your kid in situations that are now not so rare but there are generations of precious little girls being lost everywhere, feeling like they have nowhere to go or nothing good to come. I know I can't save them all, but hopefully this poem reaches one. I messed up at the end, man. My finger got in the way. Are you good? Okay, I'm going to bring up to the stage. Oh, let me just say this to you.